Hello everyone, today we'll take a look at the best stereo amplifiers in the market for 2023. I made this list based on my personal opinion, and I'll try to help you find the right one for your needs. To see the most up-to-date prices and find out more information about these best integrated amps, you can check out the links in the description below. Let's get started. Number 1. Marantz PM6007 one of the best stereo amplifiers we've ever heard at this level. The Marantz PM6007 takes the winning formula of the Marantz PM6006 UK edition, a former top 5 zone award winner, and manages to squeeze even more performance out of it. The result? Another award winner. Let's get the negatives out of the way first, though. There's no USB input or Bluetooth connectivity, which some users might demand. But that aside, the PM6007 is pretty much faultless. The PM6007 boasts trademark Marin styling and is a solidly built, nicely finished, integrated amplifier with traditional hi-fi appeal. Improvements include a new DAC and new filters, which can be switched between when you're using the amp's digital inputs, plus new components in the power amp and phono stages. The latter also gets upgraded circuitry. And the results speak for themselves. The sound is smooth, full-bodied and balanced, with a pleasing spaciousness. Another quality hi-fi amplifier from Marantz. Reasons to buy. Clear and punchy performer. Broad connectivity. Solid casework. Reasons to avoid. No Bluetooth or USB. Number 2. Cambridge Audio CZ81. One of the best stereo amplifiers you can buy at the money. Despite some minor cosmetic tweaks, the CZ81 might look a lot like its predecessor, the CZ80, but all the improvements are where it counts on the inside. Cambridge Audio's engineers have upgraded the signal path, as well as the capacitors in both the preamp and power amp sections. Also on board is a new DAC and an improved USB input that supports high-res audio. What does this all mean? It means there's a world of difference when it comes to performance. It's as punchy as anything, with a bold, powerful sound. Yet detail is never sacrificed, and it's lean and agile enough to handle anything you can throw at it. Add in the addition of apt X Bluetooth for wireless playback, and you've got the best stereo amplifier around at this price, and a very worthy top 5 zone. Award winner. It sets a new standard for hi-fi amplifiers in this price bracket one we can't see being surpassed anytime soon. Reasons to buy. Strong presentation. Great timing. Awesome detail. Reasons to avoid. Nothing at this price. Number three. Regalio. A brilliant stereo amplifier in an affordable package. This excellent budget integrated amp borrows the power amp and moving magnet phono stage from its elder sibling, the Regabrio, which you'll find in position 6 on this list. And it's quite obvious when you power up the EO that it's a descendant of this excellent amp. It showcases a fantastic sense of rhythm, impressive dynamics, detail. In short, it's a whole lot of fun to listen to. One slight drawback is that in order to reach this level of audio quality, Riga has made the decision to stick purely with analog inputs. The lack of any digital connectivity might be a hindrance to some. But it's not unheard of at this price point, and it doesn't dampen our enthusiasm for what is one of the best stereo amplifiers we've heard at this modest price. Reasons to buy. Detailed, rhythmic and fun sound. MM phono stage. Good headphone output. Reasons to avoid. No digital inputs. Number 4. Cambridge Audio Seas A61. At this level, there aren't many better hi-fi amplifiers out there. The CZ-61 is the lower spec stable mate to the CZ-81 further up this list, and successor to the CZ-60, a winner of multiple top 5 Zoe awards. So it's in good company. Thankfully, it doesn't let the side down, it has the same digital inputs and Bluetooth capabilities as the CZ-81, but only outputs at 60W per channel instead of 80W, giving you less power. But for most listening scenarios, that won't be a deal breaker. What's more important is the sound quality. And we're happy to report it's a real step on from the CZ60, being more transparent and fun 
but always staying composed even when music gets frantic. It's a presentation style that works well across a wide range of musical genres and speakers, and should please all but the most demanding of listeners. If that's you, you'll have to spend a little more to satisfy your audio taste buds. Reasons to buy Detailed, dynamic audio Stacked feature set Great build quality Reasons to avoid Pricier than the previous model Number 5 Musical Fidelity MHC A supersized integrated amplifier that delivers the expected muscularity with a surprising degree of finesse. There's no two ways about it, Musical Fidelity's MHC is something of a monster. The integrated amplifier dwarfs most rivals when it comes to size and weighs in at a vertebrae crushing 46. Perhaps the most impressive number is that it has a huge claimed power output of 550 watts per channel and 8 ohms, which then rises to a dizzying 870 watts as the speaker impedance halves. The M8C is a poke in the eye for anyone that considers an integrated amp a compromised alternative to a pre-slash power combination. Inside the Musical Fidelity's huge frame, 16x44x4 Dicom HWD, in case you were wondering, is very much a modular design with DAC, preamp, and two monoblock power amplifiers separated as much as possible with the casework. The M8C is power to burn, and that shines through in its muscular and authoritative nature. You can throw pretty much anything at this amplifier, and it'll never seem out of its depth. Yet beneath all that muscle is a product that has enough emotional stretch to satisfy across a wide range of musical genres. The musical fidelity in 8 c definitely belongs on the shortlist. Reasons to buy Entertaining presentation combining muscularity and clarity. Huge power output. Good onboard DAC. Reasons to avoid. Huge and heavy. Runs warm. No phono stage or headphone output.